all of it is actually down here at your right hand. Ugh. And if you don't believe me that there's plenty of room, look how easily I can fit back in there. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a full interior walkthrough and review of this 2022 Ford Bronco. It is the Big Bend Edition. I'm gonna take you guys through all the interior, show you guys all the features, all the rooms, all the cool knickknacks, the gadgets it's got. Let's go. All right, we are in the car now. Got a cool couple little Ford Bronco things on the screen. There's what appears to be like a meteor shower on your little heads up display. But first impressions, man, the interior of this car is really, really cool. It feels rugged. It feels tough like you would want it to be, being like a, a utility off-roading type of vehicle, but it still feels, still feels very nice. Another cool thing about this car is that if it can say Ford Bronco on this vehicle, it will say Ford Bronco. So on these little handles that you can grab to hop up into the vehicle, you've got it. You've got another Ford Bronco on the steering wheel right here. If you come down here, you see the little tag where it tells you that it was made in Dearborn, Michigan in the USA. Another Ford Bronco emblem right there. And then on your where your passenger airbag will be over here, you've got Bronco etched into the plastic. So. They are very proud of the vehicle, of this heritage. And so far, this thing is looking awesome. So staying up front, this is a push start vehicle. So we'll go ahead and fire this bad boy up. You've got your digital heads up display. Obviously everything over here will be touchscreen. <laughs> actually, you can actually look at your owner's manual on the vehicle if you want to. We're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna press the back button. But as you can see, you've got your standard speedometer over here with the little handle, but you also have a digital speedometer. As you can see, as I rev the engine, there's your RPM gauge. This is your miles per hour. You can see things like, how much gas do you have in the tank? What's my average fuel economy like? How many total miles are on the vehicle? All your basic stuff. One of my observations right off the bat when I get in this car is that it feels fun. And what I mean by that is everything in here is meant to give you a nice, rugged, enjoyable experience. You feel like you're safe, secure, like this is a very well-built, wide car, but it also feels luxurious. So you could go, you could take this car and drive it on the beach. You could take it on the trails. You could do all that kind of stuff or you could drive it on the asphalt, on the pavement, going to a store in the city. It feels like this car is kind of like the best of both worlds in terms of feeling like you're in a rugged car that's capable, it has four-wheel drive, it has off-road mode, it has all that good stuff, but it also feels very nice, very comfortable. For reference, I am sitting in the driver's seat right now. I'm 6'2", 230 pounds, so I'm a plenty big individual. I do not at all feel crammed in this vehicle. I've actually got the seat as far back as it can go right now, and my toes are like just at the edge of the pedal. So there's plenty of room. You're not going to feel like you're, you know, chest is right up against the steering wheel with this car like i said it feels like a very comfortable experience while still feeling like it's a true rugged workhorse bronco um, that you can really like get after it with i actually missed a ford bronco logo when i was going through it earlier but on your uh, little column shifter right here you've got a ford bronco and actually right in here you've got a american flag that's been etched into the bottom of this guy right here i think that is just the neatest thing by your column shifter, you would see everything that you would expect to see, right? So you've got your AC, your volume, you know, your all your dials and everything like that, your buttons for your AC. One thing I thought was very interesting is so, as far as operation of like your w car windows and locking and everything, nothing is actually on the vehicle, right? Your lock and unlock button is on the side, but if you want to operate the windows, it's actually uh, by your right hand. So right here, this would be the front and the back driver's window. So I can do that. Down goes that window. You come back here. Whoop. All right, there we go. Get back up there. So all of your stuff for your uh, mirror um, adjustment as well, all of it is actually down here at your right hand. Now, as I said earlier, this car has a couple different modes. So to sh uh, shift back and forth, from the different modes, you've got this black thing right here that rotates with your hands right here. But the coolest part about switching modes right here, and I'll bring you to the heads up display. So right now, we are in 
normal, but the screen has these really cool different themes and features for eco mode, for sport mode. God, we got scorched earth over here for sport mode. Um, let's go. Let's go to the next one. We've got slippery conditions, which would kick four-wheel drive into gear. We've got mud and ruts, which I would assume would be another type of off-road deal for off-road use only. What other options do we have on here? So we've got mud and ruts, and then we've got sand. So some of these, as you shift into them, will actually kick into gear four-wheel high. And if you try and leave uh, four-wheel high while in these modes, it will actually tell you selected four by four mode not available in current drive mode. So you cannot be in some of these modes and not be in four wheel high or perhaps also four wheel low. Let's give that a shot real quick. Okay, so if we shifted to neutral, we could actually drop it into four wheel low. But I just thought that that was such a cool little feature that they have. So we're gonna go ahead and shift back a couple times to let's go to sport mode because i think that's the coolest looking one so far four by four shift in progress so that means we are dropping back into two wheel high and we are back into this right here so moving along to the back of the vehicle the second row is pretty much more the same you've got your two-tone gray and black seats but towards the back i want to show you guys how roomy this car really is so first off pretty cool little swing open door right here and there's actually guys a ton of room back in here plenty of room for you know coolers tents foldable chairs if you're going camping if you're going to the beach for the weekend this guy folds up right here this is where you'll have some of like your spare tire stuff and whatnot looks like there's another little storage compartment right under here and it looks like if you pull this guy up are these anchor tie downs? Guys, leave that in the comments below. Are these anchor tie downs or does this entire back part move off? Ugh. And if you don't believe me that there's plenty of room, look how easily I can fit back in there. One thing that might be worth mentioning as well is that these are cloth seats and they do not have any power options, even on the driver's side, sometimes in lower trim models. The driver's side will still have like power sliding and forward and raising options and the rest will not. But in this guy right here, given that it is a little bit more of like an off-road based vehicle, everything as far as like the raising and lowering is going to be a manual option. You've got this guy to help your seat slide back and forth. Um, you may have to go with some of the higher trim levels if you want to get like the leather seats and get the power options. But all in all, still still a great looking interior and being operated manually honestly is not the end of the world. All right guys, so there you have it. That is my walkthrough of the interior of this car. Like I said guys, it kind of feels like you're getting the best of both worlds with this car. You're still getting that rugged, you know, feel, that tough off-roading feel, but you're not really sacrificing anything in terms of like comfort or features or luxury um, inside the cab. You've got a ton of features. You've got your touch screens, you've got your nice seats, you've got your, you know, adjustable steering wheels and everything like that, but it still feels like a very off-road capable, and it is off-road capable as I walked you guys through, you know, all the different off-road modes that it has, guys. This car really does feel like the total package. There's a lot of different trim levels that come with this car, right? So you can get something that has nicer interior if you're somebody who really wants those leather seats, like the heating, cooling, power options, and everything like that. Um, I don't know if you're gonna get anything much more different in terms of what you're seeing on the dash with the higher trim levels. It will really be more so features like engines, um, and you know like upholstery and and that kind of stuff as far as like once you go up on the higher trim levels but thank you so much for watching guys if you have any more questions about this car leave it down in the comments below and i will get do my best to get back to every single one of them thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting my channel um we're going to be reviewing a lot more really cool videos or a lot more cool vehicles like this in the future guys 
We're gonna be doing a Jeep Wrangler. We're gonna be doing a Polaris Slingshot, if you guys are familiar with one of those cars. If you're not, you need to go look it up right now, guys, because those things are awesome. And we're gonna be getting a chance to work with those, with some Jeep Wranglers, and with some really cool other vehicles coming up here in the near future that I am so, so excited about, guys. We're gonna be doing reviews just like how we're doing with this car on those cars. We're gonna be doing total reviews. Um, we're gonna be doing you know speed test reviews. We're gonna be doing interior walkthroughs anything you guys want guys i'm trying to bring it all to you thank you so much for all of your support this would not be possible without all of you guys and like i said thank you so much if you have any questions that i did not answer about this car leave them down below and i will get back to every single one of you thank you again and we'll see you guys on the next video peace